Well, everyone, Mitchell and Alice coming at you for another Indigenous Minded journal video. I think we're on 46, 45, 46. <sighs> yeah. Another week down. Um, super thankful. Coming to the end of um, this obstetrics block. This is my last obstetrics block. Um, I think last week was Saturday when I left the video. It's now Sunday. It's been a full week. Um, but yeah, I think I had a few call shifts, had a backup shift, postpartum round, a little bit of everything. Um, and today was actually my last call shift today on Sunday. Um, so the last time I'll likely be delivering a baby as an intern. And I had one today, it went well. Um, had a few this week that all pretty much went well. Had some laceration repairs. Yeah, I had like a random Kaiser Permanente night during this week. It kind of threw me off on my night schedule um, to get back to days, but I think I'll be able to sleep tonight. And, um, but yeah, I had my last call shift today, postpartum rounding tomorrow, and then Tuesday, I have postpartum rounding as my last day on obstetrics and then I'm actually going into surgery um as my next block been some changes with just um the whole pandemic situation I'm actually going to be doing a lot of clinic have to do some self-studying kind of a really different schedule than um what I thought you know what surgery typically is when we go in the hospital um so it was going to be my fourth straight month in the hospital but it looks like it's going to be a lot different kind of setup at the organize my schedule a little bit um some of the things yeah i think i don't know if there's anything major from this week i wanted to talk about but um had some good deliveries um i think everyone we were able to push for the most part i had a lot of prime nips and push for a few hours um uh, but it went pretty well um, one, we had like a third degree laceration. We had to bring in the, the OB, OBGYN to kind of back us up. And I ended up, they started it and I was able to finish it. Um, and then I had another pretty good delivery today. Um, not too bad. I only had like one smaller laceration I was able to repair. And um, fill in the growth, you know. Um, next time I'm OB, we'll be as a senior. Yeah. Um, on a call shift and um, just thankful um, it's the month of April is coming to an end um, I'm hoping this whole pandemic situation will continue to improve and be able to uh, slowly start be able to spend time with family again it's important to me um, just moving forward um, things are going to be rapidly changing Next month is my birthday month. Um, my partner is coming um, to move here, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, yeah, and I'm um, going to have some more clinic time, so I'm trying to adjust to as, as much as I'll be in clinic versus like telehealth, which a lot of clinics are doing now. It'll be interesting to see. And um, let's see. Yeah, that's kind of the week, so midway we'll switch over to the new block and be going into may i have some pto some cme lined up for next month too and hopefully we'll be able to do a few things and um, at least be doing stuff in nature i've been um i was able to go to the lake again this week this weekend and um yeah it's very good um do as much as he can and I was trying to think if there's anything specific uh, I think um, just trying to be thankful continue to be thankful thank you for the the blessings that I have that are coming and trying to do better been trying to focus a little bit more on myself trying to eat a little bit better more salads and did some yoga the other day going on my walks but just trying to um, put some more time into my body and myself and making sure I'm all balanced, you know, mind, body, and spirit. So I think it's important. Um, yeah. 
but look forward to the this week and um, hope everyone continues to stay safe stay healthy continue to stay home you know we're making little changes as we can going into phases and I think that's important um, but yeah keep it indigenous minded keep it mission minded all right aloha